All right, the real test, huh? Let's uh, let's set this up. I know I'm gonna be like weight or traction limited. I bet it can pull the car, but am I gonna just spin the tires? Am I gonna be able to like hop on it? Uh, do I need to put a hundred pounds of ballast on top of the board before I start? much load and it cut off the scooter. Well, I know what you guys are thinking and can a Varla scooter pull a tractor with broken steering and a flat tire? And uh I guess, I guess we'll find out, huh? We'll see uh, what happens. Now, uh, we will pull it back. I'm mounting to the back thing. Hopefully, the camera is going Ready, kids? Get some slack out of it. Oh, wheels turned. Slow me down. Ooh. Wheel keeps turning, huh? Not much I can do about that. Trying to pull it away. Because oh, it's hooked up to the steering. That's uphill. Not bad, not bad. So, in summary, this thing has been really great. I'm surprised. I've been uh, straight abusing it, honestly. Uh, probably more so than they wanted me to. Uh, for sure, more than they wanted me to. I was like, hey, you think I can pull a car and <laughs> everything else? Like, uh, what would you do with one of these? Like, uh, you know, if, if you broke it, you didn't waste the money. And that's the first thing I think of. Uh, when someone offers me something like this is, uh, what kind of misuse can it deal with? And it's doing really good. The, I got to ask them, I think it's probably from trying to yank cars. I had the rabbit out there and I was trying to pull it out of ruts in the grass and over the lip of the driveway and, uh, it could not move it. And I tried for a long time. And then what this is driving modes there's speed limiters, and one of them is like 15 miles an hour, and there's another one around 20. And then number three, one, two, three, is just the speed that the motor can hit, which is usually about 40 miles an hour. It's pretty easy to get into the 30s, but you got to wait a little bit to get that maximum 40, and it doesn't go that fast anymore. It still has all the punch, and it spins the tires and everything else. It is incredibly torquey down low, but it, it noses at 15 miles an hour every time. So I think I got to ask them about that next. But yeah, I drilled a hole in this thing and it's dirty and filthy and I've been riding it in the, 
it spins the tires pretty bad in the rain. It's hilarious to uh, have it all maxed out and just grabbing handfuls and it skates all over. But uh, other than that, it's doing good. Charged it a bunch of times, drove it a bunch of times. Uh, I guess we'll see how it does uh, longevity wise. I might have to, again, I'm probably going to have to ask them about like maybe I broke something in here or I broke something somewhere else that allows the uh, extra speed because <laughs> it was honestly it was great until I <laughs> tried pulling six cars so uh, there's the second video review uh, maybe can you guys think of anything else we should do with this for fun and uh, test it out other than that it's it's a fantastic scooter it's albeit a, a bunch of overkill more than likely for majority of people but if if you have it i mean the uh, the suspension and everything is extremely nice i can't imagine what uh blitzing this through my yard with no suspension would feel like you know probably just shake you loose and throw you but yeah anyway uh you know accidentally dropped this a bunch of times and my kid will knock it over uh one hilarious stupid uh but hilarious thing is i had it wedged up here in the corner and I had the handlebars turned this way, so it was on the kickstand hard. And I opened the garage door from outside, and the handle got jammed in here and stuck. And it carried the whole thing and just picked it up and held it up in the air. And it, it was fine. It held itself up by the steering here. So, yeah, uh, it's been, this thing has been really good. Uh, I'm not an expert, obviously, but uh, I appreciate that they asked me to mess with it. Yeah, of course I want to mess with it. So, you know, if you have any questions about it, let me know. If you guys can think of any other uses for it, uh, let's do it. Okay, thanks. Bye.